Hey Maniacs, this is Russell from Maniac Machines. Well, last season, before I winterized this Kawasaki, it was developing uh, vibration noise in the hall in the mid-range after riding for about an hour's time. Gradually, these vibration sounds became more frequent. And it turns out there was a water accumulation problem in the hall. Once the water level was high enough to touch the air box, the vibrations would begin. In this video, I'm going to be running this machine on the hose while performing my investigation to try to identify the culprit. So I bought this thing in 2012 with only 85 hours. This is my first time starting it since fogging it for my winterization. It's probably going to be crusty. Okay, so far. middle water down here. Look with oily. I wonder if there's a rotten pipe. See that spray? I think I might have found it. So it's hose clamp or leaky exhaust. All right, so just a quick update. The leak was coming from the bottom of where this coupler connects to the muffler. So I've taken some brake cleans, some good old brake cleans, a paper towel, and I've been scrubbing and cleaning that. Then I gave it a couple days to dry while I ordered some ultra copper gasket maker so once I can maneuver that back I had to disconnect this part to get some wiggle room so I can reach my hand get it on get two hands on it it's so gonna put a bead of that gasket maker around here and get this get the um, coupler back on past the little hump and then seal her up. All right, well, wiped it off my finger. I'll be doing silicone on a fish tank later. So it feels pretty similar. Now, I gotta maneuver those pipes together. All right, it's a tight fit in there. But after reefing on it, I was able to get this piece back into the groove. And I need to just weasel that on a little bit more, or weasel the, uh, the coupler a little bit more onto it before I apply the hose clips. All right, so it's on there now. Let's let that spread as I'd like it to. 
but instructions say you gotta let it sit for an hour before you apply hose clamps before you tighten it to torque specs. So I guess I can put these other hoses back on in the meantime. If you don't want to clip those these two zip ties and you forgot to take your tampon out, you can shove uh, some conduct cement in there to give you a little more wiggle room to help you work that uh, that bungee cord back around. It's pretty tight, this one. It seems new. Speaking of contact cement, my mat is lifting on my other machine. Not a lot, just enough to piss me off. Contact cement to the rescue. Son of a bitch, looks like the angle made it, made all my juicy goo run down. It might still work. Yeah, I think that'll still work. This big jug of stuff on it. Mm. All right, so after the test, there was still a leak. And it's because there was corrosion on the exhaust manifold side. So I pulled this coupler completely off, which was a huge hassle. I had to disconnect, the, take off the muffler pipe, and this this was these bolts were silicone on the inside, so I had to force it off which gave me an extra like three inches of wiggle room which allowed me to get this blue coupler off the manifold side so now i gotta sand the bottom of it dry it and apply some gasket maker yeah i might have gone overboard we'll see how we'll see if i have to do this again in next season here's the moment of truth do i need to replace that pipe or will my uh Gasket maker, do the trick. So after running it on the hose, warming it up and giving it some revs, it's still dry as a desert in here. Not a trace of moisture on that connecting coupler. So conclusion, to fix it, I had a bunch of corrosion on both sides. So I had to sand that down with 60 grit sandpaper. Then I had to apply ultra copper gasket maker to sand it down I had to actually pull this exhaust off so I could move the pipe back that extra two inches and now it's ready for a lake test and hopefully there's no more leak all right so a few days after performing that repair I took the machine and the Honda out to my favorite riding spot the Itani River which connects to Rice Lake and after three hours of ride time 
I didn't encounter any water seepage issues. That being said, let me know in the comments below if you trust Gasket Maker or if you just replace the exhaust manifold. Keep in mind though, this machine's never even seen salt water. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. For more power sports related content, please remember to crush that like button and subscribe.